Hello students, welcome to my channel, myself Artika Paul and I am back again with another new video and today's topic is number system conversion from binary to decimal number system, okay. So in my last video I told you how to convert decimal number into binary and today you will learn binary to decimal number conversion. So let's start the video. So first thing you need to know you have to convert binary to decimal that means from base 2 to base 10 okay so for that you need the power of 2 table like in your childhood you have memorized and learned multiplication tables same way here to convert from binary to decimal you have to memorize the power of 2 table how it looks like let me show you this is how it looks like it starts from the power 0 and it continues up to 10. There are more powers but uh, for this conversion you only need from 0 to 10 power. Okay. So this is how it looks like 2 to the power 0 equals to 1, 2 to the power 1 equals to 2, 2 to the power 2 equals to 4, 2 to the power 3 equals to 8 and this is how it continues up to 2 to the power 10. Okay. So how you will memorize this? Let me tell you an easy trick to memorize this one. See anything to the power 0 is 1 okay either it is 2 to the power 0 or 3 to the power 0 or any value to the power 0 is 1 okay and anything to the power 1 is that number okay so 2 to the power 1 means 2 into 1 that means 2 so next numbers how you will calculate 2 to the power 2 means 2 into 2 so to get the next value you will do 2 plus 2 so you will get 4 to get the next value you will do same number you will add with the number 4 plus 4 so you will get 8 that means 2 cube then 8 plus 8 becomes 16 so you you are getting to the power 4 then 16 plus 16 becomes 32 that represents to the power 5 32 plus 32 becomes 64 to the power 6 64 plus 64 becomes 128 then it will be 2 to the power 7 and 128 plus 128 to 56 256 plus 256 becomes 512 and 512 and 512 becomes 1024 okay this is how you can easily memorize the power of 2 table okay and this is compulsory for the conversion okay same way you have to memorize the power of table for negative numbers also how see this is how the negative number power of table the power of 2 table looks like here the value is starting from minus 1. So 2 to the power minus 1 equals to 0 0.5. Okay. Now 2 to the power minus 2 means 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 which becomes 0 0.25. Now 2 to the power minus 3 becomes 0 0.125. That means 0 0.25 into 0 0.5 becomes 0 0.125. Same way 2 to the power minus 4 means 0 0.125 into 0 0.5 becomes 0 0.0625. Okay. This is how you have to memorize up to 2 to the power minus 5 for the conversion. There are more but for now you don't need to memorize this. Okay. So let's start the conversion. So I am showing you one example that is 11011.011. You have to convert this binary number into base 10 that means in decimal number. How to do that? For that, first thing we need to do, we have to write the numbers separately. So, I have written the number 11011.011. Now, we have to separate the values from the point. Okay. So, point is the middle. You assume that. And from that, whatever is written in the left hand side, that will be treated differently. And whatever is written in the right hand side, that will be treated differently. How? For the left hand side values from right to left, we will start numbering from 0 onwards. How? Let me show you. See, from right to left, I have given the numbering and I have started the numbering from 0. And you have to start the numbering from 0 only. So, above 1, I have written 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. So, this will be the powers of 2. Okay? And for the left hand side, always you have to write it from right to left and it will start from 0 only. Same way, we have to write the numbers in the right hand side also. Okay. For that, we will follow 
left to right format and we will start the numbering from minus 1. So we will write like this from left to right minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Okay. So if there are more number it will continue. Okay. So for the numbering of the uh, numbers for left hand side value you will start from right to left and for right hand side value you will start from left to right. Okay. Now what to do? Now for this one we will write 1 multiplied by the power we have written here. So 1 into 2 to the power 4. So basically first we will write the number then we will give the multiplication sign and we will multiply it with the power of 2 and what will be the power? Whatever number we have written above this number. So 1 into 2 to the power 4. Then plus for this one we will write 1 into 2 to the power 3. Why? Because 3 is written above 1. Okay. Same way we will write for 0, 0 into 2 to the power 2. Same way for the next one we will write plus 1 into 2 to the power 1. Same way we will write for the next one plus 1 into 2 to the power 0. Okay. So from where we are getting the powers? We are getting the powers from here. The numbers we have done. Okay. Now same way we will continue for the right hand side numbers of the point. Okay. How? For this 0 we will write 0 into 2 to the power minus 1. Here we will write minus 1 because we have written minus 1 above the 0. Okay. So we will write this power. Then plus for this one we will write 1 into 2 to the power minus 2. Then plus for this one we will write 1 into 2 to the power minus 3. Okay. So this is how we will write the equation. Now from the table of 2 we will get the value of these powers. Okay. So how it will look like? See 2 to the power 4 means 16 from the table you will get. So 16 into 1 becomes 16 plus 2 to the power 3 means 8. So 8 into 1 becomes 8. Plus 2 to the power 2 means 4. And 0 into 4 means 0. If we multiply anything with 0, then it will become 0. That is why we have written 0. Plus 2 to the power 1 means 2. So 1 into 2 becomes 2. Plus 2 to the power 0 means 1. So 1 into 1 becomes 1. Okay. So the left hand side part is done. Full stop. Same thing we will continue in the right hand side part also. So 0 into something becomes 0. So the out answer will be 0. Plus 2 to the power minus 2 means 0 0.25. So 1 into 0 0.25 becomes 0 0.25. Plus 2 to the power minus 3 means 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 into 1 becomes 0 0.125. Now we will add these numbers separately. So, 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 becomes 27 and 0 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125 becomes 0.375. Okay. So, this is how we can convert binary number into decimal number and we will get the answer like this. 11011 is 27 in decimal number and 0 0.011 is 0.375 in decimal number. Okay. This is very easy students. This is how we can convert base 2 to base 10. Okay. So rest of the conversion I will tell you in my next videos. So follow my videos. Until then thank you class. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Share the video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notification. Thank you.